here's another job for the for the good old Future Max saw. Uh, cut this uh, garage door up. I know it's not a lot of weight, but today's prices it probably comes out to about 15 bucks. Plus, I still have that trailer on here. I lost the keys to my truck. <sighs> Dropped them out there at Walmart and uh, went back. Never the lost and found, so got lucky that way. Cut these in half. Hold them over, more or less. little saw action but some of you guys use headphones so I'm gonna cut the video out while I cut it. Cut a couple notches in there and uh, fold it over. Hey kids when you're doing something like this with metal it's over your the height of your head Always look up and make sure there's no power lines that are low hanging. See right there? Okay. You don't want to get welded to the ground. This one will be slightly more challenging only because it's got this, this bar right here that makes it stronger. We'll cut it just the same though. So yeah, using a simple tool like a sawzall, you cut that up like that, just in half, you make really short work. Out of uh, a bulky item. Get it right into your truck. And once again, always remember, they're actually about, I don't know, about 16 feet up. And this door is 16 feet long, but it's cut in half, so it's only eight feet. Uh, as we go up like that well yeah cannot stress that enough I'm working around overhead power lines make sure that you're aware of your surroundings it's like a safe electricity.org type of video but it's no joke that's one thing when you're scrapping because you're working with metal and uh it's an excellent conductor of electricity. Flimsy, uh, flimsy tin like metal, so no, it's not aluminum. Oh, Amazon everywhere. Probably should have cut it a little bit more. Not a problem, I put a little bit more beefy cut into it. So it should just there you go. Just trying to be lazy. It is scrap metal, so 
You don't want to go gaga with the effort. So there's one bulk item in the truck like this in minutes. Thanks to that saw right there. And then I'll take that trailer thing and uh, flip it back down in here and tie this stuff up. Get it right to the yard. Not even gonna bother taking this to the compound. Out here and the uh, dude right there, he kind of looks like the amazing hob. Just gave me this uh, Lionel Cannonball. You don't really come across any uh, trains. I mean, this thing's not in the best shape. That's more like a metal. Feels like it anyway. Track, transformer. It's like a 70s or maybe early 80s type of it's not the 1950s kind I I always wanted to have a train around the Christmas tree I found a few uh, a few of these things maybe like two in my whole career of uh, scrapping Missing the front end. This guy says it's missing a couple tracks. Yeah, this is a lighter gauge of steel. I'm sure there's some uh, people that know about this stuff. Oh. General Mills Fun Group. So the, the people that make breakfast cereal I guess owned this at one time I'll keep it I'll keep this for next Christmas what the heck 